Alright guys, so this is a presentation that I made here on uh, Empire Total War Campaign and Naval Tactics. So it's actually very simple and straight to the point. Let me show you. So you, first off we have Chain Shot. Chain Shot is the most important tactic in naval warfare for this game. I will teach you how to effectively use it and explain why it is the most important tactic for all naval battles in the game. And I'll use examples to make it clear. So, step one is to place your navy in a way that favors the wind for the enemy. Let them come to you. Sometimes your navy will have a weird position, not every situation is ideal. But the goal is to uh, leave their sails open and therefore vulnerable. So now, to the da, show time. So here we have the French, right? And I'm sailing in a way so as to make the enemy AI fleet chase me with the wind actually in their favor. So they're coming to you, they have the wind in their favor. So the reason why this is going to happen, why this is useful, is because you can read that PowerPoint if you want. There you go. You're going to turn your ships once they're at a specific distance with the uh, enemy to use a chain shot. And as you see there in the video, chain shot destroys the sails. Their sails are open, and because their sails are open and up, because the wind is in their favor, what ends up happening is that their, their, chain, their, their, their sails completely fall apart. It's absolutely glorious. <laughs> and this is, by the way, a real campaign naval battle. This is uh, not like a demonstration. This is actually a battle that, that happened in the campaign in the hardest campaign difficulty. Long campaign as a French. Uh, hardest campaign difficulty, hardest battle difficulty. So this is going back to the first slide, right? So once in distance, as you saw in the video, you turn away from the enemy, right? So now when you turn away, right? Right, the enemy was coming towards you with the wind in the enemy's favor. So what you do, you just turn and you run away with the wind in your favor. The enemy's chasing you with the wind in the same direction. So now you're both going into the same direction of the wind's favor. But you are going to zigzag, basically, right? Or swivel around like that, right? left and right with chain shot and what that does is that the AI, the AI Navy uh, doesn't do anything pretty much and they end up uh, getting their sails destroyed by your chain shot because you're just going in starboard chain shot um, left uh, port side I think is what it's called uh, I get the terms wrong but you get it left side of the boat chain shot right side of the boat chain shot and you just, as you see, as you saw in the video, they just get their chains destroyed, and they end up not being able to do anything. After that, you just pummel them, and they surrender. It's really simple. You can, and it, it's really easy. So chain shot neutralizes the enemy. It renders all enemy ships useless, from the biggest to the smallest. Yes, even the largest ships in the game, especially the largest ships ships in the game. Chain shot targets the masts and sails of enemy ships. And without their sails and masts, they cannot move. It's really simple. This exposes the rear and front of the ships to constant bombardment from you. Further benefits. You save money. You don't need to recruit the most expensive ships to win battles anymore. I typically have around two or three strong ships, such as galleons or usually captured galleons, right? Or fluids or two-third rates or three-third rates <coughs> and the reason why is just as a good backup and then the rest of my ships are mostly just fifth rates you don't really need more than that uh, there's a huge cash booty for all captured enemy vessels we're talking like last last fight that I had last naval victory I made like 8,000 I just captured like a large navy fleet of galleons and sixth rates from uh, 
from the was it the Swedish? It was a bunch of fourth rates and sixth rates from the Swedish. Uh, I was playing. I'm currently playing as Austria in the long campaign, hardest uh, uh, campaign difficulty and hardest battle difficulty. So that would be very hard difficulty. That's as high as it goes in Empire Total War. And I made around eight thousand gold. Uh, you can make a lot more than that too. Um, but yeah, you make like in the thousands consistently. Uh, with this tactic and at little to no cost to your own navy. I mean, it's it's really cost-effective um, Absolute domination of naval warfare against a any campaign faction and you take far less naval casualties more money Which equals more money saved. It's really simple important notes Fifth rates as I already told you are the best for chain shot because they have a longer range then fourth rates, third rates, second rates, and first rates. Believe it or not, and they still pack a good punch. Unlike the sixth rates and the fourth rates, well, the sixth rates don't have the same uh, damage level. They don't have the same amount of cannons as, as fifth rates. And the fourth rates suck at everything. They have bad accuracy. They have bad mobility. And they're just, you might as well get a third rate that actually has way more damage. Fourth rates, I completely skip them. I don't even buy fourth rates. Fourth rates are trash. They're completely useless. Just get fifth rates. Um, yeah, and they and ships of the line are also effective for doing chain shot. Just be careful with their range. As I told you, the fifth rates have more range than the third rate, second rate. So when you're fighting enemy navies, you have a distance advantage. You your you your punch has a further reach with playing as the fifth rates. Uh, always have fifth rates as your main force and second or third rates as backup as I already told you for pummeling the enemy force once dismasted. Not necessary, but it's always good to have that as a backup, especially when you're fighting uh, like mid game, late game. Uh, even if you beat a uh, very large navy, let's say it's a full stack navy, right? Like, oh, you know, it's a bit of chaos. You might want to have one or two of these bigger ships just to go and hammer them in, but they're not actually necessary. Still recommended though. Personal experience. Uh, I already spoke about this. I've captured huge fleets and ships, often making over ten thousand gold. Yes, that's true as well. Uh, my last one, my last match was eight thousand, but I've made over ten thousand gold. I rarely take any major casualties. Uh, very inexpensive. I dominate most trade nodes, and I rule the seas. There you go, and I hope you enjoyed this video.